Many, many years ago, the Republic's capital city once floated on these very waters. You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters used to be. But ever since Shinra swept in with their big tankers, seas have been rough. The elevator's been shut down since shit hit the fan upstairs. Sea devils. Hope the crow's nest folks don't try anything stupid. Here. This is a no grown up zone. Get lost. You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Ah! Help us! Hmm. Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, I love it. I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Think you two can handle it? Played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You looked like you were having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Rip it, rip it. <clears throat> hey! Rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs>
that dolphin's so adorable. Lately, I've... We should have never let them build a reactor in our waters. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say no climbing. So we're stuck? Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone, but then Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> Awesome. All right, then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay. Which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Just let me know, okay? One day. Me too. Checking vitals. It would appear you are in fine health, Cloud, if perhaps a little fatigued. Nothing a good night's sleep can't address, though, I'm sure. Please rest at your earliest convenience. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels.
Cloud, have you been down to the beach yet? From there, you can see where the Republic's capital once was. It was a flotilla, a thriving city built across ships. Alas, the capital now sleeps at the bottom of the ocean, having been sunk in the war. Go! 
Catch him! How'd you Come like on. that? I have it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Are my trials not challenging enough? I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Four. You take care of yourself, okay? I'm looking for a quality harpoon. Do you need something delivered? They must have cracked down on the supply route. You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters are. All good to go?
Cloud, you got this. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way...
Meet you at the top. You are. Let's move. If we get to see the new president in person. security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. Any idea what that is? The high wind. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. 
Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Have you seen the engines on the high wind? That baby's got four of them, each with their own cooling unit. She's a modern marvel. Think of the raw power it must take to get a ship that ridiculously huge off the ground. <laughs> it's got nothing on a Relnica. What they lack in lift, they make up for in sheer propulsive power. Not to mention their sleek frames. And I love the way their wings fold up during takeoff. So compact and cute. Yeah, fair. I'll give you that. But if Relmicas are cute, then the high wind is drop dead gorgeous. Aerodynamic body, full glass bridge, titanic propellers, not to mention the nose art. Uh, every inch of her is stunning. Not long now until the rehearsal. Rufus Shinra is a total hunk. That's the ticket. Much better than yesterday. I don't think I've got anything more to add. Hmm? Do you need something? Elevator's just over there if you want to get back to town. to go to that social for the Midgar units? <sighs> Just gotta make a guess that I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Word of advice, do not piss off Director Heidegger. No disturbances to report in either sector. Good. What about the passengers? We checked their IDs and screened all their luggage, sir. There was nothing out of the ordinary. Excellent. Now remember, the whole world will be watching the events here today. We cannot afford any mistakes. Don't forget what happened in Midgar. Sir! You must remain vigilant at all times. Sir! No, we'll leave them be. For now.
Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right, beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Check each tag carefully. Any mistakes will come out of your salary. Yes, what is it? Oh, are you trying to get to the town below? Just take the elevator. You're good. Easy does it now. Stop! 
Stop! Your cargo's tipping again! Please, keep your distance. We're trying to work. If you're here for the parade, it's down below. You're good. Easy does it now. Man, I can't wait to see the mobile unit tear it up. Avalanche could be here right now. You never know. My wife is completely obsessed with the new president. He's definitely growing in popularity. All of his merch is constantly sold out. <laughs> 